so today we will do exercise 2a question number 7 2a question number 7 sub number 1 okay so question number 7 is what find the quadratic poly polynomial each with the numbers given below as sum and product of its zeros respectively so here sum of the zeros is given first one and product of the zeros is so given given directly solution okay given sum of the zeros sum of the zeros how much given sum of the zeros how much minus 3 by 5 minus 3 by 5 so we know that the formula of sum of the zeros is what minus b by a so here this is the minus 3 by 5 so both side minus will cancel so it will be what b by a equal to 3 by 5 and product of the zeros product of the zeros that is how much given product of the zeros minus 2 by 5 minus 2 by 5 so product is given how much formula c by a so this is minus 2 by 5 always here just we have to check the value of a in the first case a equal to how much 5 and b for the second case also a equal to 5 just we have to equate the a both the cases the a should be equal so for the first case also a equal to 5 and for the second case also a equal to 5. Directly we can write here. For both the cases a should be equal. Just you have to do what? A should be equal. Other value of b and c no need to see. Just we are our m should be what? A should be equal. So here a equal to how much? Here also 5. Here also 5. So it is 5. b equal to how much? It is 3. And c equal to how much? Minus 2. So therefore the required quadratic polynomial is what is the answer the formula is ax square plus bx plus c so in place of a we should write 5x square in place of b we should write 3x in place of c we should write minus 2 so again we have to write what 5x square plus 3x plus into minus minus 2 understood I hope all of you understood this one. Okay. The sub number 2 also I will do. Look at here sub number 2. In case of sub number 2 given what? If you will see sub number 2 it is given what? 8 by 3 and 7. Now formula is what? The question is 8 by 3 and 7. So given sum of the zeros. Sum of the zeros. It is 8 by 3. So sum of the zeros is what? minus b by a it is 8 by 3 always you will remember it always you will remember it if this is a minus if the, that's a here if you will see the first one both side is minus so we can cancel the minus always we have to this minus if left, left hand side is minus always left hand side will be the minus because from the formula if right hand side there is no minus this minus we have to take that side okay yes so b by a equal to what this minus we have to take that side it will be what minus 8 by 3 always you will remember it next product of the zeros and product of the zeros what that is given 7 product of the zeros formula c by a that is 7 sorry that is 7 so here in first case a equal to how much three in the second case the denominator nothing then we know there is one okay this is three this is one so our first m is what like this the for both the cases a should be equal this is three this is one this one we have to make three this is a small three one is smaller than three right this one we have to make three how we'll do it look c by a equal to what seven by one both will multiply to make this a3 this a3 this one to make 3 we have to multiply this one by 3 here also we have to multiply by 3 now it's how much 7 3 is at 21 1 3 is at 3 
So now look in the first case a equal to 3 in the second case also a equal to 3. So here for the both numerator and denominator we have to multiply okay. I think you got it in class 8, 9 all these things. Here a equal to how much? 3, 3. Now we can write down the 3. Then b equal to how much? It is minus 8. So minus 8. And c equal to how much? It is 21. So 21. So therefore the required quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c. a how much? 3x square. b how much? minus 8x. c how much? 21. So we should write 3x square plus into minus minus 8x plus 21. So this is the answer. Okay. So sub number 3 is what? It is given 2 root 3 minus 1, 2 root 3 minus 1, 3 minus root 3. Solution given. Given sum of the zeros, sum of the zeros, that is how much? First one. 2 root 3 minus 1. Sum of the zeros formula is what? Minus b by a equal to 2 root 3 minus 1. Here is nothing, then we should write 1. Then I mean just nothing, then we should write 1. This minus we have to take that side. Right side we have to take. So it will be what b by a. It will be minus 2 root 3 minus 1 by 1. So next, product of the zeros. And product of the zeros 3 minus root 3. This one. Product of the zeros C by A formula. 3 minus root 3 by 1. The animator is nothing, then we should write 1. Now, in the first case, A equal to 1. In the second case, also A equal to 1. So, now we can write here. This A, A should be equal. So, here A equal to what? 1. B equal to what? Minus. 2 root 3 minus 1 and c equal to how much? 3 minus root 3. So therefore the required quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c. So a how much? 1 into x square. b how much? Minus 2 root 3 minus 1. Second bracket we have to use here. X plus C how much? 3 minus root 3. This one we will write on using the bracket. So now we have to do what? 1 into X square it is X square. Plus into minus it is minus. 2 root 3 minus 1 into X. X plus 3 minus root 3. So this is the answer. Hope all of you understood, okay? So, today we have finished question number exercise from exercise 2A, question number 7, sub number 1, sub number 2, and sub number 3. All the sub number we have finished. In my next class, we will do question number 8. Thank you very much.